Boom, what up YouTube and internet? Welcome to another Python web scraping tutorial. Today we are going to talk about JSON and parsing JSON because learning how to deal with the JSON dictionary stuff and how to drill into the dictionaries that when we get a response in JSON, it's very, very important. That's I had to really, really learn about this, read different blogs, books, uh, tutorials to get my head wrapped around this because I'm a slow learner, but still it's useful. So, so in, in the latest, uh, excuse me, the, the latest tutorials, we looked at various types of APIs and how they function. And we looked at some sample JSON responses from these APIs. Now let's look at how we can parse and use this information. So at the, in an earlier video, we used the example of free geoip.net, which resolves IP addresses to physical addresses. So let's try that out. I already had that up, but okay, let's try that. If you have followed along, uh, along with this uh, tutorial, you should be familiar with this site. It's already feed it in, so we'll just reuse that and we get the response like this. So we can take the output of this request and use Python's JSON parsing functions to decode it. So let's get into our IDE. For JSON and from URL dot request it's there and import URL open. Let's define our function to get the country code from a given IP address. find our response and we'll use the HTTP, the free GPO, free GOIP, excuse me, the website and construct our URL and IP address can be different. that and we also need to decode it in UTF-8 format JSON and we load the response into JSON format and return response.jsons and the value we are looking for is the country code and now let's call our function and give it a value of a IP address save it try to run it hopefully there's no ip address is not defined it's because i'm a typo master okay this prints out the code country code for the ip address that we entered and we can check that here if that's correct country code us yes it's correct uh, so the JSON parsing library used used is part of Python's core library. Just type in import JSON at the top and you're all set. So unlike many languages that might parse JSON into, into a special JSON object or JSON node, 
Python uses a more flexible approach and turns JSON objects into dictionaries, JSON arrays into lists, and JSON strings into strings, and so forth. So in this way, it makes it extremely easy to access and manipulate values stored in JSON. And this example, I'll just pause, you can just pause the video and type along if you would like to understand how Python's JSON library handles the different values that might be encountered in a JSON string. So if you run this, so what this does is that line one is a list of dictionary objects and line two is a dictionary object. It's the second object, just here, here this one. And line three is an integer, the sum of integers accessed in the dictionaries. This will means uh, the second object, which is one, and uh, which is number colon one, and get the number value, which is one. And the third item of this object, and get this number, which is 1 plus 2 is equals to 3, 3. And this gets the third object of the fruits uh, array, which is peer. 0, 1, 2, 3, or 0, 1, 2. So ho hopefully this quick video will help you wrap your head around how JSON responses and dictionaries uh, work is hopefully this uh, will also like in the upcoming videos tutorials uh, help you to to uh, understand the code a little bit better as well so i have used a lot of time to understand this so do uh, study this json stuff a little bit uh, carefully so i hope this was a quick video uh, today is just a quick video so i hope you enjoyed this video if did, if you did please hit the like button subscribe share comment and help me to spread the message around this for building this community so yes i hope to see you in the next video okay i'm out peace out